to get into an issue uh, of concern to just about everybody out there, and that is the high cost of living. This year, inflation soared to levels not seen in more than 40 years. And though last month the overall rate seemed to slow a bit, grocery prices have continued their climb. They have risen every month this year, up more than 13 percent since last summer alone. And that is straining food budgets and leading some to wonder what is driving the price hikes. And where is all your grocery money going anyway? We decided to find out or try to find out anyway by following the price of a good old American staple a gallon of milk. There's one word that can sum up a trip to the grocery store these days. Obnoxious. <laughs> the prices? Yes. Inside the DND market in Delhi in southeastern Pennsylvania, just about everything is costing more. And that's most certainly true down aisle one in the dairy section. Prices are up for whole milk, 2%, fat free. Everything is. All of it. Everything. Shalish Patel that, is the owner. So how much more does a gallon of milk here cost today than last year? Almost close to like a dollar. In fact, nationwide, the average price of a gallon of milk jumped almost a dollar since the start of the pandemic. It's enough to make you wonder where your extra dollar is headed and whether there might be someone somewhere who's getting a dollar richer. You're not making an extra dollar. No, I'm not making any extra money. The extra dollar he's taking in, he says, goes straight to the wholesaler and eventually to places like this. When an everyday American buys milk wherever they are in the country and they're right. paying a dollar more than they were a year and a half ago. Well, if it wasn't for that, then a lot more farmers would be going out of business. Wendell Gaiman is a third generation farmer, raising cows here on Marwell Dairy Farm, less than an hour from the DND market. And while he's most definitely selling the cow's milk for more than he was, he's also pouring that extra money away. So, Wendell, this is the stuff that's costing more? This is the stuff that's costing more. All because of a giant increase in the price of feed. Where was it before prices started rising and where is it today? I think it was about uh, $3,000 a month and then it, it's now close to $4,500 or $5,000. 5, wow. Just to buy the feed. Wow. That means your extra dollar is going to cover his rising costs. So what you're saying is it, it, it's not going to get Wendell and every other dairy farmer a better pickup truck and a bigger TV. No, I wish, but that's not how it works. Which brought us to our next stop, where your extra dollar eventually goes right into the register of a shop like this one. So Wendell says he's paying more for feed. Mm -hmm. Is that true? That's very true. Kevin Goulden is co-owner of Ole Valley Feed. You've yeah, got going up, corn going corn up, going up and soybeans, soybeans going, going up. up. And those are your ingredients pretty much to make feed. So Using these charts and tables, Goulden explained to us that your extra dollar doesn't stay with him either. When you're looking for somebody to blame for the higher price, where do you point the finger? World economics. World economics? Oh, yeah, because this is a global market in what we do. But world economics is kind of an unsatisfying boogeyman here, right? Oh. You know, I can't call him on the phone and complain. I can't no, write an angry you, you, letter. You have no one to complain to. And he's absolutely right. Inflation is such a complicated topic. It's one that economists truly do not understand all that well. Gina Smialik covers inflation for the New York Times. Where does it really begin? Who's the first person to raise the price? I think it is so difficult to talk about this because inflation is no individual person's fault, right? The government did a lot of stimulus during the pandemic and that helped to push up consumer demand, which is part of the inflation story. People had more money and they could demand more things because they had the cash. And that helped to push inflation up initially. I think we can absolutely say that corporations expanded their profit margin during this period. You know, corporations saw that their costs were increasing, increased their prices, but increased their prices by more than they necessarily needed to just to cover those costs. However, that is kind of how capitalism works. But when it comes to something as seemingly simple and straightforward as a gallon of milk, the story of your extra dollar only gets more complicated. So we are starting to see some improvement in the ports. Involving long-term impacts from production and delivery issues, and volatile fuel prices affecting way more than just milk.
Early in the pandemic, everybody wanted a new couch or a new living room set. They ordered those and the shipping routes that we all use globally to transport our goods got really clogged up. As that happened, the cost of transporting anything started to really skyrocket. It became expensive to transport feed or grain or you know whatever you need to make a farm operate, which ends up making the milk that you're buying today, a year and a half later, a lot more expensive because at every sort of link in this chain, we've seen prices going up and that just echoes through the supply chain. I tried, wow. I really tried to find the one bad guy. Uh, I mean, this. so I want to do this story because uh, people are going to be voting uh, in less than 100 days. Right. They're going to blame someone for inflation. Everyone's got a boogeyman. Some blame uh, the Biden administration and stimulus. Some blame Russia. Some blame corporate greed. Some blame COVID uh, disruptions. And the answer is all of it yeah. to some extent. Right. And also none of it. It's all combined into one thing. So kind of vote your partisan opinion because even economists can't sort it out. Who's, no. make, who's making that dollar? Yeah, everybody and nobody. It's sort of like the Ouija board. This is the metaphor I've come <laughs> to, right? Like the Ouija board, everyone's Push got it. their hand and they're moving it around and it's making different letters and it's the spirit world. It's everybody's pressure and nobody's pressure. That's the answer to what's driving up costs. There is no person making that extra dollar. It's everybody and yet nobody at the same time. It's so just, frustrating in my I feel like I'm following a cell signal across a, a, a patio, and I'm like, I, I can't see it, but I'm walking for it. it. Yeah. Where is it? Well, there's so many different types of inflation that can happen, too. And as you said, it's, it's almost like a convergence of all of them at once, which is unfortunate. It's deeply unsatisfying. But, but it's it getting like better. Uh, maybe. Well, they can't predict because I don't even know what caused but see, it. That's, gas that's the thing. Gas prices well, But that's one piece bit. of it, right? Correct, that's, right? Energy is just one part. Economists so. don't know. Politicians will make claims. People are going to try to sort it out. It's a guess. That's the bottom line.